Hey y'all, Irix guy here, and I promised my fans a uh, test flight with the latest DJI Phantom 4 firmware version. Now, at the time of posting this, it is April of calendar year 2016, and the firmware version that I'm about to test is DJI Phantom 4 firmware 01.01.03.0. .01 so it's going to be interesting to see how it performs. It's a uh, mildly windy day, probably wind wind burst of about five knots. Uh, so it's not uh, not anything too intense. Uh, but I'm going to go through a series of tests. Obviously, I want to see the video quality. <clears throat> Is it as stable? Is it more stable? I mean, who knows? Does Active Track work even better? How about the uh, the obstacle avoidance sensors? Let's just take this thing through its paces here. So without further ado, I'm going to hit record on the uh, within the within the app so this video and the clips I'm about to show from that is all in 4k ultra HD so if you've got a compatible display or computer monitor crank it up and see it in its full detail let's get airborne here I do have 14 satellites right now that's uh, something a lot of fans had asked me about uh, how many satellites do you get with the Phantom 4? Right now in an open sky area 14. Uh, check out my other video where I was uh, where I was demoing in the wilderness where I had significant tree cover overhead. So far everything seems to be level, but what I want to do now is initiate the active track with the latest firmware. Uh, let's see how well, or how poorly, again this is not doctored up like all my videos. None of my videos are doctored up. So let's see how it performs. It's going to go into active track, we're going to get it to find me. Okay, I'm hitting go, it should be tracking. <laughs> Just as a test here, a lot of people said, does it follow the controller? or does it follow the, uh, the person on camera? And I'm gonna show you that it follows the person on camera because this is, uh, unlike the previous Phantom versions where they utilized tracking of the controller, this tracks the subject visually using the camera. I'm gonna take it to a little bit more, uh, very low altitude, but a little bit higher before I start this. Should it fail, I don't want it to be like head level to you know, potentially decapitate me. That wouldn't be fun. <clears throat> Interesting enough, I was able to increase the altitude and it remained locked on to me, so I don't have to push go again. So let's, uh, I'm gonna place the control over here. Back right here. And we're gonna see if it follows.
Again, none of this is doctored up, but something's not uh, tracking. Gonna make sure it didn't lose. Yeah, it's lost me on the camera here. So maybe because I adjusted the altitude, even though it didn't say that I had to, uh, to retract, apparently I did. Okay, now I'm pressing go again. Let's see if this works. <clears throat> Even though it's tracking me visually, I'm picking the controller back up because I'm going to do some abrupt moves with the expectation that it may lose me. It may not. I ran under it real rapidly with the expectation it would lose me. It did. But now, without pushing anything, it's regained visual. See? See, it lost me. If you run directly under the camera, it may lose you like it did me, but let's see if it'll get me back. Yeah, so it's not perfect. Let's see what I have in app. App still thinks it's tracking me. So the first time, it refound me automatically. This time it did not. So, yeah, active track, even with the latest firmware, is still not perfect. But let's do some other tests. Let's do obstacle avoidance. I'm gonna use this camera right here as a small object to see if it sees it. to go forward it won't go forward because it sees the tripod and obviously now it sees me too
So, uh, <clears throat> obstacle avoidance worked flawlessly. Let's check out the stability of landing. Let's see how precise this is. Uh, that's one thing. Now keep in mind, I'm only at 63% battery life remaining. And I've already been filming for nine minutes and 40 seconds. Has this increased the battery life from the previous firmware version? It may have, because I don't, I don't think I got at this time, because if I'm at 62% and now I just hit 10 minutes, so that's over 20 minutes remaining easily. I'm sorry, if it's at 60%, if it was 50% and I got 10 minutes, 50% times two is 20. Add a little bit, so it's, it's, it's over 20 minutes remaining. Or 20 minutes total, I should say. Let's check out the smoothness of the landing here. Wish I could position this where I could be on the camera too, but watch. The little steak cooler right here, glorified steak cooler. Wind just picked up, which is good. There's a significant amount of wind right now. That's why it's kind of Put it right down on top of the glorified steak cooler, and I call it that because if you've ever ordered, uh, if you've ever ordered mail order steak, they often come in a little styrofoam type thing like that. So I use, I like my waterproof and ruggedized case. Check the link within this video's description to find it. But there's certain times where that tiny size, especially when it's going out in the field, at, you know, with one battery, and it that little thing that comes with it'll hold more than one. I think it'll hold. Was it two extra batteries? It'll hold the one in the drone, and then maybe, I think it's one or two more. I've, I've only got one battery at the time of posting this. But um, yeah, I like to use it sometimes when I'm not going near water or anything that's, uh, that's uh, you know, potentially dangerous for the drone. Obviously, I treat all my cameras and my drones with, uh, with cotton gloves. Wouldn't do it any other way. Uh, but that's it, that is firmware version. And again, just to recap, because I didn't, uh, uh, I didn't remember, <laughs> I didn't memorize the firmware version because I'm kind of stupid. Um, let's see, it is firmware version four, Phantom Four, firmware version zero one dot zero one dot zero three zero one. So it's a firmware that came out during April of calendar year 2016. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to youtube.com forward slash irixcat and share this video and any of my videos with others. Thanks for watching and y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, irixcat here. I wanted to take a moment to thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. I'm an independent channel and it's viewers like you that help me to continue to grow. I appreciate your viewership and y'all have a good day.